Well, today we're going to talk about the cell theory. What are cells? Well, cells are the basic unit of life. And they're so small, we couldn't see them unless we had microscopes. Really? Well, are there different types of cells? Yes, there are actually six kingdoms, and all organisms consist of cells. So we have the archaea bacteria, the eubacteria. Do you know any other ones? Um, I think I remember protista and fungi. Oh yeah, and what are the most important ones? Plants and animals? Plants and animals. They all consist of cells. So, how were cells discovered actually? Well, before we had microscopes, people believed in all sorts of magic. Um, how diseases were spread by vapors and we didn't really know how we were created. Well, in 1635, a man named Robert Hooke invented the first microscope. Mm -hmm. And he discovered cork cells under the microscope. Now, they weren't alive. They came from trees, but he saw them. And they, those tiny, tiny little cells reminded him of monks living in, in chambers, so he called them cells. Mm, nice. Hooke used this early microscope to view cork cells. Alright, so, so how did he do that exactly? Well, um, 10 years later, um, microscopes have improved, and uh, a Dutch with a very funny name, uh, Van Leeuwenhoek, that is funny, that is, made a microscope where he actually could see living cells. And he was the first one to see living cells, but um, he collected pond water from a from a pond next door and he found tiny little animals in it. And he didn't even know that they were single-celled organisms. Interesting. Van Leeuwenhoek discovered living cells in pond water. Then it took about 200 years for another scientist to advance the discoveries of the cells, which was Robert Brown. And he saw that cells have a nucleus, which is obviously very important. Ten years. Brown used his microscope to observe plant cells. After that discovery, the German botanist Schwanenschleiden um, announced the cell theory which we use today. These scientists helped advance the study of cells through their research. And the part of the cell theory is that all living cells that all living things are made of one or more cells. Cells are the basic unit and structure and function of organisms. What, what is structure and function? Well, the structure is how things is built, and the function is what things do. So, then the last thing of the cell theory is that all thing, cells arise from pre-existing cells. Nice. Do you know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. Well, you can't just create cells, you have to have one cell to make another cell. Oh, that makes sense. Very much so. So, cells then come together and form tissues. Tissues come together, make organs, organs make organ system, and when you have an organ system, you have a whole organism. This chart shows how, at the atomic level, the smallest level, uh, atoms are put together to form molecules, molecules are put together to form uh, organelles, organelles are put together at the cellular level to form cells, cells form tissues, tissues form organs, organs form organ systems, and all together the organ systems form the organism, such as the zebra in this diagram.